trying to get that sun out of my face check that out all right so it's 15 dollar day at a liquidation bin store when they first opened up they were eight dollars now inflation fifteen dollars i don't really come on fifteen dollar day that often but i have found good stuff on fifteen dollar day i could find a box with multiple items in it so i'm hoping that happens today fifteen dollars i'm hoping to find products that make me a hundred dollars plus i have about a hundred and something bucks to spend so let's see what happens thank you guys for being here Check this out. Ranked 2000 in groceries. And it sells for $9.99 a piece. And there's a crap load in each. It expires in February 2022. Everybody's buying all the other stuff and I'm buying cocoa or cocoa, whatever. this out $140 ink still sealed $140 ink for 15 bucks I'll sell it for at least a hundred bucks on eBay so yeah we're gonna take that so I checked Keepa Amazon only has 10 of these in stock so they're selling it for $9.99 if they do run out, I could probably sell mine for 10, 11, or 12 bucks. I'm not sure how high I can go if I'm the only seller. Because I have put in higher prices before, and Amazon will deactivate the listing. So I could just play with the number and see what price I'm able to sell it at. <laughs> Check that out. I never made it to the Amazon warehouse or it did make it and it was kicked back I don't know all I know is that I own it now we got all the costumes back there Oh man, I had four items I was ready to pay. It was uh, $60 because I don't pay tax with my Texas sales and use tax permit. And my credit card that I was going to use, I have no idea where it is. And I don't have it connected to like Google uh, Google Pay or Apple Pay or anything like that. So I just missed out on those four items. But life goes on. If I go home and find that credit card, then I could come back and purchase those items. So let's continue. I gotta get to work now. This is how you list a product through the back end of Amazon. I got my box right there. I got two of these boxes. I shipped out all these already. I got two left. So I got 24 of these left. I need 24 labels. So this is the way I'm doing it. Manage FBA inventory. I could always scan them with my scanner right there. Or I could, I know they're seeds, so I'll just put seeds. There they are right there. So print item labels. Sorry, I got a mess right here. Look at that. All my junk. I'm living with family, so. I got all my stuff squished together. Print item labels. It's gonna open up in Adobe for me. I have Adobe Acrobat Reader free downloaded. I'll go to cancel. Put it at 100%. Go to edit. 
take a snapshot right there. I'm gonna snapshot this label like that. Print. And my label size is 30334. I already know that. So I'm gonna go to page setup right there. Go to 30334. Okay. And I'm gonna go to fit. I need 24 labels. So right there. I'm gonna put 24 and then print. And there they come out. So I needed some boxes right now. So I went to Walmart and I saw these returned for reuse boxes. I'm gonna throw all my items in there. Send it to FBA. So we got 12 of these. I got to get to work. I got how many boxes? Was it eight or nine? And then 12 in each box. $3, $3.50, somewhere around there. Profit every time each one sells. Sorry, let me turn that down. But if Amazon gets off that listing, like I said earlier, we will profit on these goods. Alright, I got my money deal straight. I come back, it's still here, and these people opened it. Oh my god, I can still sell it though, but that sucks that they did that. Check that out. 2023 it expires. I'll make 10 bucks a box. 10, 20, 30, 40. I pay 15. I'll make $40. Let's take that. back there and I gotta load that up man it's hard out here for a reseller so I'm gonna put it all right there yep this is how we do say hello to my little friends just kidding I gotta go drop off the packages you all saw in the trunk and then I gotta get to work on all this other stuff I just bought I just spent 195 I don't pay tax